so guys in this lecture we will going to study the concept of multiplexing so what exactly multiplexing is multiplexing is a mechanism through which the server process can monitor multiple clients at the same time so without multiplexing server process can entertain only one client at a time and cannot entertain other clients request until it finishes with the current client so we have already seen this problem in our previous demonstration of server client communication that when the server was entertaining or processing the request of one client it do not respond to the connection initiation request sent by another client right so basically our server was responsible to entertain only one client at a time and this is a huge drawback for being a server process server process should have a capability to handle multiple clients at the same time and therefore we have a concept called multiplexing using which server can entertain multiple connected client simultaneously so the following pictures demonstrate the concept of multiplexing and what happens when you don't have a multiplexing on the left hand side you can see a long queue and you can see that while the person which is at the front of the queue receives the service all other persons standing behind him have to wait for their turns and once the person who is at the front of the queue receives the service then if he wishes to receive the same service again he has to join the queue right from the back so this situation is equivalent to the situation where once the current client is serviced by the server client has to join the queue right from the last that is he will rejoin the queue but from the last it means that the client has to send the fresh connection initiation request to the server to get another service from the server whereas the picture on the right hand side depicts a person which has multiplexing capabilities he can do multiple tasks at the same time so server can service multiple clients at the same time using the concept of multiplexing so linux provide a special system call which enable the developer to implement multiplex based communication and that system call is a select system call so select system call help us to monitor all clients activity at the same time so these are those clients which are connected to our server and using select system call our server can monitor all those clients at the same time that is which client has sent the data and which client has not sent the data and which client has sent the new connection initiation request so using this system call our server can actually monitor the state of all connected clients at the same time so let us discuss select system call now server process has to maintain client handles so remember client handles are also called communication file descriptors so server maintain multiple communication file descriptors to carry out communication with connected clients so you can see in the diagram on the right hand side at this point of time our server is maintaining three file descriptors one is the master socket file descriptor and at this point of time two clients are connected to our server and corresponding to those two connected clients our server is maintaining two communication file descriptors which is c1 and c2 so in addition server process has to maintain connection socket or master socket file descriptor as well which is m so this is master socket file descriptor and the purpose of master socket file descriptor is to process new connection initiation requests from new clients so linux provides an inbuilt data structure to maintain the set of socket file descriptors so you can see at this point of time in this diagram our server is actually maintaining three file descriptors that is master socket file descriptors and two communication file descriptors now of course you need some data structure in order to maintain these file descriptors so linux provides an inbuilt data structure which makes the maintenance of socket file descriptors easy that data structure is called ft set data structure that is file descriptor set so this is a standard data structure that is provided our c api 
So you can see that FD underscore set is actually a set of file descriptors which are maintained by the server at any point of time. So select system call monitor all socket file descriptors which are present in FD set data structure. So you can see we have a select system call and this select system call operate on FD set data structure. In other words, our select system call operate on a set of file descriptors which are maintained by a server. So the argument to the select system call is definitely FD set data structure which contains some set of file descriptors. So this is a high level overview regarding how select system call works and what is the relationship between select system call and FD set data structure. Now next let us have a detailed discussion on select system call that is how exactly select system call works and once you understand the mechanism of select system call it is it will be very easy for you to implement a server which has multiplexing capabilities.